This vlog is going to be about building back, rebuilding strength and resilience with Iron Shirt Qigong. If you haven't watched this vlog before, uh, well, it's a vlog. I talk about all sorts of different things in this vlog, about just general things that are going on in life, uh, and often about things that relate to Qigong. Uh, sometimes it'll be purely around some aspect of Qigong theory or philosophy or practice, uh, and other times it'll be, yeah, stuff going on in life and, and yeah, often how Qigong or some of those concepts of philosophy tie in with that. So uh, you probably saw something about Iron Shirt Qigong in the title of this video. Uh, I will get to that, and there is a tie-in to the other things that I'm going to talk about. So if you're just interested in the Iron Shirt Qigong bit, um, I'll probably put a time code in the description below of when that starts, uh, when I start talking about that, so you can skip to that if you'd like. I've made a couple of vlogs over the last little while where, you know, I've said, hey, this is the first vlog in a while. Um, hopefully they'll be more regular now. I'll start making them more regularly. And then that hasn't happened. And a lot of that, I think, is because life has been so strange for the last little while. And, and not in a way that, you know, not strange in a way that I've felt like there's been a whole lot for me to necessarily talk about. Um, I've been living in New Zealand during this time and well, it's specifically in Auckland because the conditions in Auckland have been quite different from the conditions elsewhere in the country and we've been in and out of lockdowns um, and some of those lockdowns have been quite long, um, very long and a lot of aspects of life have just kind of stopped. Um, I've been really busy, really busy working, teaching Qigong, particularly in the online Qigong courses, and that's been great to be uh, teaching and helping people to discover some of the many benefits and fascinating aspects of Qigong practice. Yeah, but a lot of other stuff has just kind of ground to a halt, and it's been, it's been a strange, strange situation. But here we are again, and this is the first vlog in a while, and I'm hoping they'll start to be more regular again uh, for a couple of reasons. So one being that, well, here we've actually, we've officially come out of this most recent lockdown, which was almost four months long. Uh, and because of that, more things are happening. Uh, as part of this, we're now, we now have vaccine passports for the first time. Um, and so, you know, there's all of the challenges uh, related to that, and so things aren't back to normal as such, um, but they are, well, more's happening, um, yeah, and and also I've, it, because more's happening and so on, I've, I've had a few experiences doing things and talking to people, people have asked me some questions that I think would be worth making a vlog and talking about, and some of the experiences and things I've done, you know, I think there's maybe some things worth talking about as well, so I think there's, yeah, there's a good chance that from here on out, maybe I'll be making these vlogs a bit more regularly. I, I hope so. I really hope we can start get back to more of a normal life. And part of what inspired this vlog to get me started again, in a way, was last night I went into the city, uh, the centre of Auckland. And again, we've had these long lockdowns which has meant a lot of businesses have not been able to operate during that time. And, and we've had some other lockdowns before, well, quite a few of them actually, where again, businesses have not been able to operate. Um, but going back into the city last night, it was, it was different this time from other times. As I, with a couple of friends, as we walked around, um, just looking around, there, there were some parts of that central business area where, you know, I didn't exactly count, but at a guess, I would say 75% of the businesses in those retail spaces, so shops, but also other businesses that use those sort of shop front type spaces, 75% were just empty with signs for lease. They were gone, closed. Other parts of town weren't so bad, 
there were some parts where maybe 25%, which under normal circumstances would be huge, but maybe 25% of those shop fronts, those premises were just empty. So those businesses didn't make it through all of this challenging time. They, they've shut their doors, they've gone, they've closed. Um, other businesses were still operating. They managed to make it through. But challenging, challenging times. Um, and of course, yeah, some of those businesses simply closed down. But taking a step back from those individual businesses, looking at the whole area as a whole, the whole area has gone into this, yeah, really quite damaged, devastated even state where so much has been shut down, so much has not operated um, as a result of these restrictions in and out of lockdowns and the uncertainty and so on. Um, so yeah, interesting to observe, interesting to spend some time there. And it got me thinking about, well, the effects that these same circumstances have actually had on many people as individuals, um, and also other circumstances in our life. It's not, it's not just what's gone on over the last couple of years, but different things in life that can knock you back, and knock you back some more, and knock you back some more, um, and until, you know, some aspects of yourself, of your life, uh, start to shut down and you start to feel like you're at a low ebb, broken down. Yeah. Challenging, challenging times. This is, this last time has been challenging for a lot of people. Um, and other things in life, you know, quite outside of this can really knock us down over time at life, uh, during life. And so what I was thinking about, <laughs> to tie this back in, so this is where the Iron Shirt Qigong comes back in. So over this last little while, I have been, as I mentioned, teaching Qigong courses uh, online, because it hasn't been really practical to do anything in person. And as part of this, so one of the Qigong courses I've been running, it's called the Inner Fire Qigong Program, and it's because it puts together a bunch of the more dynamic qigong practices, more active, more challenging qigong practices, often practices that have been historically associated with the martial arts, with kung fu of course in particular, and the way that they create this dynamic strong energy and really cultivate and work with the yang aspect of our energy. And one of those practices within that course is iron shirt qigong. Uh, and it's interesting because people often get this idea about Iron Shirt Qigong that it's, I don't know, some, somehow, somehow it's harmful to your body that you have to be really rough with your body in order to develop this great strength and great resilience, um, you know, that is part of Iron Shirt Qigong. And it's been really really uh, quite enjoyable for me or I've been really pleased as I've been into it because we're coming to the end of this Qigong course at the moment the group that's just gone through it we've just about finished and as I've been talking to some of the participants of the course to find that they've really grasped what Iron Shirt Qigong is actually about and that they've been able to feel for themselves just how how much vital energy Iron Shirt Qigong gives them. And they said it feels really good. Because Iron Shirt Qigong is about building us up. It's not about breaking us down. It's about taking us from wherever we're at. Now, for someone who's already quite healthy and strong, their aim in doing Iron Shirt Qigong might be to become much stronger so they can do some of those, you know, impressive demonstrations of Iron Shirt skill where people break things on themselves or um, one that I've done in the past which is a bit of fun is have people jump on me uh, which is yeah just something that's been a bit of fun uh, but you know some of these things that we we really show that quite surprising level of strength and resilience but these same practices also apply 
very much to people who are not already healthy and strong. People who have been broken down, who have been worn down by whatever it is in their life, whether it be emotional upset and trauma, whether it be physical injury, whether it be illness, whether it be long periods of inactivity that have worn them down, broken them down, to rebuild their strength, rebuild that vitality. The Iron Shirt Qigong practices are fantastic for this. And th there's a process that we go through for this, and, and, and it works right to the foundation of our energy. So we start with a process of filling our energy up. So bringing in, so opening the tissues of our body so the energy can flow and be filled with energy. We then work to pack that energy, to make it solid and stable within us so it acts as a foundation for, uh, for, you know, for further health and vitality and strength. So we're really building with the roots of our energy and the foundation of our energy. From there we smelt the energy, so we work actively with it so that it flows through our body. We get all parts of our body working effectively together uh, because good Iron Shirt Qigong relies on the whole body being strong and balanced. You'll only be as strong as your weakest link. So it works to get everything working together in a balanced, coordinated way and having that energy that you've cultivated uh, flow strongly through your whole body. And then the last parts of the Iron Shirt Qigong uh, are the ones where it really comes to uh, developing you know, what is often used as the, those displays of strength and resilience, uh, which is the forging. So bringing the energy right to the surface. And we do use striking as part of this to bring it to the surface. And, but, but it relies on that foundation that we've developed through the other steps. From the filling, from the, uh, the packing, and then the smelting, we then forge. And this, this brings the energy to the surface and it makes sure that it uncovers any weak spots and gets the energy through the whole, the whole surface of the body. And then finally we temper that. So we make sure that we discharge any excess energy and we smooth the energy out. Now all of this process should be a process of building up. Of, of, of. So again, it depends where you're at. For some it'll be a, a matter of developing more strength, you know, to impressive level, levels. For others, it's a process of rebuilding and of healing. Every step, even the forging, is about that. It's about developing health, developing well-being. And it has been so nice to, to hear from some of those course participants as I've been talking with them, that that is what they've got out of it. And some of them have been telling me how much they've specifically enjoyed the forging part of the practice as well. Which is, you know, that's the bit where you're using striking um, as a way to uh, bring the, to distribute the energy and bring it to the surface of your body. And that's, that's a part of the practice that often people, um, they can get a bit scared of because it's like, ah, I'm hitting myself. But a lot of it comes down to the intention that you use and, and or your approach to it, that you're using this as a way to develop and strengthen and rebuild yourself. So yeah, it's been really nice to see that. And that's what inspired this vlog. Um, and yeah, this, this is part of the application of Iron Shirt Qigong. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. It may be the time. It's, it's for some of you who've watched the vlog in the past. Um, you know, great, great to, to, to see you. I'm not seeing you, but great to be back connecting with you again. Great to be finally making a vlog. And yeah, maybe, maybe this has given you uh, some insight into Iron Shirt Qigong, maybe to think about a little bit differently. Um, maybe if you're feeling a bit broken down, a bit run down, a bit like you need to rebuild yourself, uh, you might like to explore the Iron Shirt Qigong practices a little bit. Now, if you do want to do that, uh, of course, as I mentioned, I have been teaching the, the Inner Fire Qigong uh, program, which that's quite an in-depth Qigong program. It's actually a 200-hour instructor certification program. So we go really deep into that and into some other Qigong practices as well. Um, and so, yeah, you, maybe you'd like to do that, uh, in which case, great. We do have another program starting fairly soon. Uh, I'll put a link 
below to where you can find information about that if that's something you're interested in or also of course we have people who are graduating from this program now over the next few weeks as they as they finish up and so they will be uh, well quite a few of them will probably be starting to teach some of these Zion Church Qigong practices within their communities and maybe you might live near one of them so um, you might want to get in touch with one of them and see if you can maybe join in some some of the classes that they teach too so I'll put a link to where you can find some of the Long White Cloud Qigong certified instructors in the description below as well Anyway, again, uh, nice to be back making a vlog. I am hoping this is going to be a bit of a pattern that I will start to do these more regularly now. Um, yeah, so if, yeah, if I do, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.